Good morning. It is the morning after Christmas. I hope everyone had a nice holiday. Um, our house is full and, and uh, it's wonderful. We had a nice Christmas. Um, and I, I, in my head, I promised myself I was going to make a video every Sunday morning. And this is a Sunday morning. But it kind of doesn't make sense for me to sneak out right now and make one. But I'm doing it anyway. I have to run to the store because we're running out of coffee and fruit and stuff like that. But um, I just wanted to do my January TBR, which I, I cannot remember. And I did not bother to look to see if I'd already done this. I feel like I've talked about it. But anyway, I feel the need to um, do my January TBR. Um, and I got coffee from Starbucks, which I haven't done in, I don't know, a couple of years. I mean, it's been a while. Mm. Mm. This one's a good one. Sometimes there's too burnt. Tasting. But anyway, so these are my tea, uh, and I, I grabbed the wrong book, and so this isn't complete. I don't have every book to show you, and also some of it's on audio or uh, Kindle. But anyway, one thing they're doing in January is the uh, Flannery O'January, which I think uh, um, Noah at Everyone Who Reads It Must Converse and uh, Dostoevsky and Space Christy Lewis, and there's somebody else who's also doing it. I Forgive me, I forget your name. I can't participate very much. I'm just gonna participate the first week. So from January 1st to Jan January 7th, I'm going to try to read a short story a day. I have this collection of, um, my engine just went on. Um, I have this collection of short stories that I inherited from my aunt, and I have, I read um, Flannery O'Connor back in college, and I found her stories really troubling and disturbing, and I didn't get them at all. And I have seriously have not read her since then, I don't believe. Um, so I'm going to tackle her again because everybody talks about her, and she's supposed to be this phenomenal modern Catholic writer. And I just don't know if she's going to appeal to me or not, but I happen to have this, and they happen to be doing the <laughs> January of Flannery or Flannery of January or whatever. And, um, and so I'm going to try it just for a week. I'm going to see if I can read a short story a day. So that's, and, and then that's all I'm going to participate in. I, I don't know if I'm going to make it to any of their talks or anything either. How many short stories are there? Just, I just work. Oh, they don't have a number, but I have, there's at least, there's at least seven I can read. So that's plan number one, January 1st. Um, the other plan, of course, is also January 1st. I'm going to start the read along for City of God. This is so beat up. This is like my study copy. I, I underlined things and made notes and stuff. I need to get a nice copy of City of God. Um, this is the beat up one. I have my handy dandy little reading syllabus that I made up tucked in it and we do have a boxer group go, uh, going we have about five members I think and we might get one more um, so that's exciting and so that's also going to be my uh, something I start on January 1st um, and then for other reading plans for January um, oh yeah I should say this I think I'm going to start working through this because I want to focus in 2022 on antiquity and Latin classics and I have this textbook that I bought and never really used and it's Latin uh, via Ovid and I think I'm far enough along that I can slowly work through this book and the beginning of each one has a retelling of a myth from Metamorphosis from his great work and it gets steadily more complicated so in the Latin and you start actually um, translating his actual poetry by the end of the book. So 2022, I think I'm going to try and work through this book slowly and um, probably use a lot of other resources because I don't have a teacher guide or, or answer key or anything. So, but that's okay. You can just pull from other resources. But I decided that's what I'm going to focus on. That's going to be how I do things in 2022. So that's exciting. And then on January 9th, I think, is starts the Africa Cup, which is in Cameroon. They, there were some rumors they were going to cancel it because apparently Cameroon is having a lot of civil unrest and also, um, you know, uh, COVID. But, um, but they're, they're saying now they're going to go on with the Africa Cup. And so I joined um, 
mark at book time with Elvis's reading challenge. I also did the Euro Cup in the summer um, and it was a lot of fun. So the country that I got, so you get assigned a country and then you have to read something from that book. And then if they win, whoever they're up against in the tournament, um, and you know, there's a series of games, if they win, then you don't have to read another book. But if the other team wins, you have to read a book from that um, country. And it just goes along like that. So whoever wins, you have to read a book from that country. So you could be lucky and get the winning team and then you don't you only have to read one book. But if but if you're not lucky you have to read a lot of books, which that's doesn't make sense, does it? Cuz the more you read, the luckier you are, right? <coughs> and it doesn't necessarily have to be a book. You can cuz sometimes it's hard to get stuff in English. It can be a poem, it can be an essay about the country. You'll see one thing that I've got here for a country that I couldn't, <coughs> excuse me, find anything. I mean, I could, technically there's stuff out there, but to, to access it, that's the hard part. Mm. Anyway, so, my country is Gabon. That was who I was assigned. So I got, I found this book called Mima by Daniel Mangara. Look how nice and slender it is. There's the man himself. And I think I think it's sort of somebody's, either his or a fictional character's uh, memories of his mother, who he called Mima. And it's very slender. So uh, my engine just went on again. It's only 122 pages long. So I like that. So I'm gonna start reading that on the 8th. So the day before. My team doesn't play until the 10th. Gabon doesn't play. And Gabon is playing Comoros. I could not find anything. There were some interesting books out there that have been written by uh, about Comoros, or, or but I couldn't have I couldn't get access to any of them. So I'm just reading the Lonely Planet's Guide to Comoros, and um, so if Comoros beats Gabon, I'll have to read this. I might read it anyway, just just to learn about the country, and then the other two. Um, teams that are in my group that Gabon is going to have to play eventually is Ghana. And so for Ghana, I got uh, a book by Ama Ata Aidu. And apparently she is a very well-respected and prolific author from Ghana. And my, my son's physical trainer is from Ghana originally. And he told me, he gave me this author. And then I think it was, oh, who was it? Somebody in the group had read something. She might have mentioned this book. Oh, I can't remember now who it is. Oh. Anyway, sorry. Um, but anyway, so this is Our Sister Killjoy by Ama Ata Aidu. I have no idea what this is about. But again, it's very slender. It only is 131 pages. So I'm excited to read that. And I have someone from Ghana I can talk to about this. He said he had to read, you know... I asked him, which one do you, do you recommend? He said, you know, just anything by her. They had to read various things by her o over, the, over their school years. So it's kind of like deciding which Dickens or something you're gonna read. Um, so anyway, so I'm excited about that. And then I forgot, I grabbed the wrong book and I forgot to grab the last book, which I actually is most, I'm most excited about. And it, it's uh, Morocco. So in my, in my little group, Group C, I think I'm Group C, it's Gabon, Comoros, um, Ghana, and Morocco. And I got a book from Morocco about, um, it's the memoirs of a woman, what's it called? Memoirs of a harem or something who grew up in a harem, but it's during World War II, but she escapes, I think when she's like 16, and she grew up to be like this great feminist scholar in that part of the world. Um, so it looks really, really interesting. Dreams, wait, Dreams of My Girlhood? Oh, I can't remember the name of it. I'm so sorry, I grabbed the wrong book. Uh, I was doing it and my husband was still sleeping and I was <laughs> creeping around trying to, trying to gather my books. Um, but anyway, I, so that's the Moroccan. So I think that Ghana, both Ghana and Morocco are stronger teams than Gabon or Comoros. That's what I understand. So those are, so that's my Africa Cup reading for January. Um, and then I'm also going to, um, hopefully I'm going to finish my Kindle read, which is the biography of Audubon. I want to finish that by January 1st. So I really have to truck through that this week. 
Um, and then I want to start with Felix Holt by George Eliot. Oh, now the sun is coming in. Uh -uh. Um, wait, can I turn like this is a little better or no? All right, I'll hurry up and finish this. Sorry, I didn't mean to make you seasick. Um, so, uh, so I'm going to start Felix Holt, uh, The Radical, I think it's called, by George Eliot, because um, just like I did with Phineas Finn by Anthony Trollope that I started reading in October because I was have a grandson named Phineas who's at my house right now. Um, I'm, my oldest daughter is going to have a baby January 14th and um, his name is Felix and so I want to read Felix Holt in January so I'm, oh, I'm hoping to start that I've got that already on my Kindle um, and I'm hoping to start that January 1st if I finish the Audubon biography in time and then um, the other thing that I think I'm gonna do is um, for audio I noticed that they have uh, several versions of Agnes Gray on LibriVox and Agnes Gray is the Victorian read-along um, book that we're going to read uh, so I might listen to that on audio during January and the last thing is the humorous uh, book of the month club they haven't quite decided I think we're gonna do a, a Wo uh, Woodhouse um, book and I don't have that I don't have the books that they're talking about so I'm hoping I can get something out of the library or I'll have to just um, I don't have it downloaded either. I have a lot of wood houses downloaded, but not that the particular ones that they're mentioning, which are one is the first collection of stories, but the other one that, that was suggested was the first full length novel of the Jeeves and Worcester series, which I think is my man Jeeves, but I don't have either of them on Kindle already downloaded. So I, I'm going to try for the library or I'll try a second hand or something. Yeah, that's the only one I, I don't really have set up yet. So anyway, so that is my ambitious um, TBR for January. And I think uh, it will be fun and a fun. I like to read in January. It's usually quite dull outside and, you know, rainy or overcast or cold or snowy or icy. And so uh, I think it's the perfect month to read a lot. So anyway, I'm always sorry that the sunlight is always a problem, but I can't think of anything else to say and I better go uh, shopping right now. Um, so I guess I'll talk to you later. Uh. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas time. I'm Catholic. It's still Christmas till Epiphany. And, um, and also Happy New Year because I doubt I'm going to make another video before then. So uh, maybe I will. Maybe if I finish. I'm reading a um, middle grade book called The Gilded Girl. If I finish that and I have time, I might make a review of that. But other than that, it might be till after the new year. So all right, take care. Um, have I hope you're having a wonderful time and happy reading. Bye bye.